Oh no. <laughs> was that was that her dream? <laughs> huh? Ugh, why'd I dream something like that? I haven't seen either of them in a week. Dindin's probably. No. I'm sure she hates me. Ugh. Ugh. Whatever, whatever. It's better to forget the whole thing happened. Moxie's doing just fine today. She totally has crushes on both of them. <laughs> it's a letter from mom. Moxie, I'll get straight to the point. It's time for you to make it's time for you to start making payments on the previously agreed upon amount. You have only been renting that old building for two months now, and yet you have already fallen behind in this regard. I can imagine you've been slacking on upkeep as well, given your record. I cannot and will not be lenient with you just because you are my child. If you are unable to make any payments by the end of the month, I will be forced to put the property back on the market. Please inform me as soon as you have made your decision. That is all. Best wishes, mother. Ruthless as ever, huh, mom? Fine, fine. I'll find a way to get your stupid money. Ooh, this trash can. <laughs> Should I throw this letter away? Do it. Take that, you stupid letter. <laughs> Gotta get dressed first. Oops. Ugh. <laughs> Same. Same. Yeah. Oh, I look cute. Oh, wow. I walk faster, too. I'm ready for the day. Oh, dang. This is like a... This is like a building. <laughs> I don't really want to know what happened if I broke into Chai's room without permission. All right. Here's salt and pepper. What do you want? Yikes, I was just saying hi. What's got you extra mad this morning? Morning, it's like way past noon, you lazy trash. I'm upset because we didn't get any curry last night. Well, yeah, it would have been weird for the little bun buns to want to feed us after what happened. Ugh, like, that's our fault. We obviously weren't gonna do it. You guys seem pretty close to me. I wish. It's super hard to just kill someone like that. Turns out we're big ol' softies, like you, Moxie. Why are you turning this around on me? You don't de you two don't deserve curry nights. And it's snowing. Again, I'm tired of this crappy weather. Let it be spring already. Money troubles. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, train? Whoa, shit. Oh no, you don't have a pass. If you'd like to use the Insta rail, please buy a ticket at the machine outside. Thank you. Dude, that looks like some like celestial shit in here. I could buy train tickets here, but I don't have that extra kind of money to throw around. Dang, I want to go on that train. Okay, once once we get some cash, we're going to do it. What do you mean we can't pass? As I said, your kind is no longer allowed into this town. You'll have to find somewhere else. But we used to come up here every year. Why would the rules suddenly change? An incident last week led to that decision. Unfortunately, I can't disclose any more details than that. We don't have anything to do with that stupid incident. This is discrimination. Um, let's just go back to the station. We can figure out another vacation spot from there, okay? No, Frosting is the nicest and cutest little town on the mountain. I told you we're staying here, so gosh darn it, we're staying. We're doing just that. Now let us in. Sorry, ma'am. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. I, di I didn't want to raise a fuss. So we have to find somewhere else to stay? Fine. We don't owe Frosting our business if they're going to suddenly treat us this way. <laughs> I smell an opportunity. You two are in luck. I happen to run an inn just across the tracks. Oh, you do. Thank goodness. Problem solved. You don't look like someone who would own an inn. I'm not convinced. Who's talking about discrimination now? What? Okay. <laughs> 
Allow me to show you the way. I assure you it's a very cozy establishment. We should check it out. Anything to stop you from harassing this poor man. That's like the only male rabbit we've seen. <laughs> he looks like really weird. Here we are. This is my foxy lodge. The sign says foxy den. What is this? Spray paint? Don't mind that. We're getting it replaced very soon. Um, I think we should give this place a chance. It's a nice looking building. It might be big, but it looks pretty sketchy to me. That's rustic charm, my friends. Now let's get you two out of the cold. Come on, follow me inside. I don't think it's a good idea. Ever since that big scandal all those years ago, I still don't trust any hotels run by foxes. What? I ought to... <clears throat> my foxy lodge has nothing to do with the wild fox hotel chain. You have absolutely no reason to be afraid. Weren't those... The hotels where the smaller animals got eaten up by the hotel staff? That was a rumor! And this place has nothing to do with any of that. Even so, it might be risky for us to stay in a place like this. I prefer the cute, cuddly rabbit town. The people there always seem to be a little scared of us, though. Are these guys cats? That's so cute. What? You're saying you'd rather get preyed on than have someone be scared of you? Um, I, I don't know. Do, do foxes really eat cats? I wouldn't put it past them. You cry about discrimination and then talk like this right in front of me. Fine. New angle. The hotel's got a gimmick. Want to hear it? What kind of gimmick? <laughs> Follow me. Well, what's this? Some kind of theme hotel? It doesn't look like it. The truth is, this log actually puts on a little show for its guests. What kind of show? Uh, a mystery! You two, should you stay here tonight, we'll get to try to solve it. A mystery, huh? Alright, I'm interested. What's the mystery about, then? It's a murder mystery! I'll pretend, of course. Yo, Moxie, what are you going on about? I need you guys to help me out. I'm reeling them in, so play along. What's in it for us? You, you, you can be the murderer. <laughs> Boy, Pepper, Mux, you really know the way to your heart. Alright, if I get to kill Salt, I'm in. Perfect. So, how about it? Are the two of you brave enough to catch the culprit? Do we have to? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Wow, I like this cat. <laughs> Wonderful, here's your room key. If you just go up the stairs, it's the first room you'll see. As a gesture of goodwill, I'll let you pay us after we've satisfied your entertainment needs, alright? So the room is free if you don't manage to impress us. We can't refuse a deal like that. We'll take it, and we'll solve your mystery in record time. Dude, this, <laughs> this cat is so into this. <sighs> She's really worked up now. We won't disappoint. Just give us a few hours to prepare. It's uh, been a while since we've gone to do a show. Oh, of course. Thank you. We we look forward to it. <laughs> I did it! I was just making up as I went along, but now I'm totally going to get to keep this place. It's a little soon to be celebrating, don't you think? Ugh. Now <laughs> I have to put it together a mystery for them? Why didn't I just make them pay up front? Now there's all this extra pressure, what am I doing? Hey, you'll put something together, you're always getting it together, Moxie. Salt's right, you're nothing if not resourceful. You scrape together the money to set this place up, you'll probably be able to keep it going. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I've just gotta search around the place for ideas. Great, we'll, we'll be here when you figure it out, I guess. Right, thanks for the help. We're rooting for you, champ. Come chat me up if you're feeling helpless. Helpless. What's up, buckaroony? I don't even know where to start. Give me a direction to look in. Why not see what you can find upstairs? We don't mind if you search our room. So don't just casually give permission to take our stuff. Uh, you're not even going to have a room for me to take stuff from if I can't pull this off. Alright, Salt and Peppa's room. I'm sure I'll be able to find something useful in here. What? Like, 
clothes. Maybe there's will be some good props in them somewhere. I just gotta dig around a bit. Look at these like underwear. Something's under here. Whoa, what's what's with the scary knife? <laughs> it's just a joke one. The blade slides into the handle to make your stabs look convincing. Why do they just have this? Why do they just own this and hide it under the rug? This is exactly the kind of murder weapon I had in mind. Salt's old comedy props sure come in handy. Hmm, but this killer needs a disguise. I think we've got something we could use in my room. My room. Ooh, maybe, maybe I could use that. It's in here something. It's in here somewhere. Yes, this spooky mask will work great to hide our killer's identity. Now, all I need is some fake blood. I think I know just what to buy. Dude, I'm broke. Can, can that, uh, shop dude, like, pitch in? Hey, got any tomato sauce? I need fake blood for our show. Sure, you can buy it. Ah, oh, come on, I'm doing this to keep the roof over our heads. Can't give you any handouts, dude. Right now, I honestly need handouts more than ever. But fine. <sighs> I'm, I'm so broke. I only have five dollars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, well, we're broke now. Thanks, Chai. Really feeling the support here. Oh, yeah. Good luck with the thing. Why am I the only one taking this seriously? At least now I have all the essentials. Although, this place could use some decorating to help set the mood. Try the back room behind the fireplace. Whoa, good thinking! You're not useless after all. Alright, secret passage. Sick, guys. I love secret passages. What's this metal thing? I can't tell in the darkness. Hmm, switches? What's this one do? Uh, the lights went out. Moxie, if you forgot to pay the bills, I'm gonna lose it. My bad, I'll fix it. So, little remote, you can control all the lights in this place, huh? How convenient. Now that I can actually see, I wonder what I'll find in here. Hmm, this box. Hmm, yeah, I can use these old costumes. And all these black tarp thingies. Now I have all the decorations I'll ever need. This means I, I have everything I need. I'll really be able to put on a show for these cats and make money. Is, is it possible? Could I really pull this off? Oh, could I really be the owner of the greatest murder mystery theater slash hotel in the whole country? Moxie is great. Moxie is saving her home. Moxie is going to save her friends. And then best of all, Moxie is going to be your expectations, mom. Ha! Huh. No matter what challenges you throw at me, I've always been able to make my way through them. Invincible Moxie! Hmm, ha <laughs> I just need to set all this up and get my lackeys in a costume now. It's showtime! Ooh, it's spooky. Welcome, esteemed guests, to Madame Saltsworth's most magnificent birthday celebration. So, has the murder happened yet? When do we get to solve the mystery? Murder? Why, whatever could you mean, madame? We should get into character. This isn't the kind of question a guest would ask. Ooh, so we're involved in the drama too? I love this! Um, yes, hello, good day, chap. What kind of character was that? Um, please excuse my partner. She's quite eccentric. Hey, is this like a is this like a queer cat couple? I'm so into that. <gasps> queer cat couple. Yes. Okay. Eccentric? I'm downright insane. Let's get this party started. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Please come right this way and partake in the festivities. I'm so happy you could make it to my 18th birthday party! Soon I will be wedded to my fiancé and he will own half my estate. Half your estate? What a lucky fellow! After all, Madame Saltsworth, you're one of the richest young women in the entire world! <laughs> oh ho ho, how you flatter me, Miss Moxiella! <laughs> oh ho ho ho! Whoa. 
so being so ominous. As your guests, we hope you beat the odds and have a long, happy marriage. Your well wishes mean the world to me. Guests whose names I do not know. We should keep a close eye on Madame Saltworth. I have a feeling she'll be the one who... Oh my! Whoever could have turned out the lights? Allow me to remedy the situation. Shuffle, shuffle. Yes, I'm fixing it now! Oh no! A tragedy has befallen our birthday girl! Ah, uh, we couldn't catch the killer before they had a chance to strike. That would have made things easier. <coughs> I've been stabbed. <laughs> this is the end for me. I am dead now. Madame Saltsworth, who could have done such a thing? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, my love. Say it isn't so to have such a lovely flower plucked from this earth. What cruel fate this world has bestowed on you. I curse it. Curse you, foul fate. So, you're the fiancé. My condolences, if I may ask, did your dearly departed, did your dearly departed lover have any enemies, perchance? What are you asking him that for? It's obvious he's the killer. He wanted the estate all to himself. They would have had to get married before he could take everything. Killing her first doesn't make sense. Hey, you're really good at figuring this stuff out. Shush the lights off again so I can kill the witnesses and make my getaway. Ah, suspicious individual. Is it you? You did it, didn't you? See what happens. It looks like they're on to you, Duchess Von Pepperoni. Your days are numbered, criminal. Shh, busted. <laughs> oh my god. That went better than expected. Oh, a wolf. How scary. Ah. Is, is, is this still part of the story? Or, or do, do wolves come here often? No, no, she's harmless. Don't worry about it. Uh, you put on such a good show. I, I feel awful saying this, but the fact that, it was, that a wolf is here, I, I just don't know if it's safe for me and my partner to stay here after all. No, no, what I meant is we haven't gotten... We haven't gotten a chance to rehearse this part of the story. That's right. It's a new addition. I guess I wasn't clear enough when I told her we aren't doing this part of the performance tonight. Sorry for the misunderstanding. So she was another actress. Thanks, good, thank goodness. I was really nervous. I think having someone ferocious as part of the cast will be really good to raise your tension in your drama. Oh, that's not to say I didn't enjoy the show as it was. You all did a wonderful job. Thanks, I'm glad you guys gave us a chance. It's the most fun I've had in a while. Oh, should I pay for the room now? If you take cash, yes, our rates are usually $90 a night, but I'll, giving, I'll be giving you a generous, excellent sleuth discount. That'll be $75. Oh, how affordable. I'll include a tip to make it an even hundred. Really? Wow, th thank you so much. You've all earned it. Good night then. I made a hundred bucks today. We actually did it. Yippee. <laughs> Poor dead salt. Yippee is right. If we keep this up, I could even own this place one day. Sure, but uh, before that, shouldn't you clear things up with your other actress? <laughs> right. Hey, uh, I'm sure you heard all that, huh? It was, uh, I was just, it's not really any of your business what's going on in here. I mean, more importantly, Tree, you better have a good reason for coming in here without warning. I was this close to losing my guests. We are out of food. Okay, well, that, that is a pretty good reason. Sorry for coming in at a bad time. No, no, it's whatever. I, I'm not actually mad. The clerk is gone. Can I still buy something? Nah, just take it. I'll, I'll just pay Chai back as soon as they notice what's missing. <laughs> does Chai is does Chai use they and them pronouns? Is this is this what I'm seeing? If it's okay, thank you. <sighs> Moxie, come here a sec. You're not dead, so you could at least get up if you have something to say. 
Nah, never mind. Just thought someone should mention what happened last week. Sorry, I, I won't come here anymore if it's a problem. <laughs> no, 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 forget about that. It's all water under the bridge. Visit our store as much as you want. Oh, great. God, that's settled. Now my spirit can rest in peace. Goodbye, world. Thanks for the food. I'm going home now. She's getting away. You heard the cat. We need big. Uh, we need a big scary wolf to impress our future guests. So tell her that. But things are all complicated. I can't ask her for favors. Hey now, where'd your Moxie brand overconfidence go, huh? I never seen you hesitate like this. You're right. I gotta be bold. That's the Moxie way. We caught the murderer! I had no idea it would be this fun. Be sure to tell your friends about us. Word of mouth is our livelihood. But where's my partner? Did they already go back to the room? Yep, the one that's been very generously paid for. Thanks so much for de deciding to stay. <gasps> Does the partner also use they and their pronouns? Ah, blowing my mind. Okay. Yeah, it was a blast. Oh, I like I like the lover. <laughs> is this this is chai, right? Flawlessly performed. A round of applause to all parties. You're way too into this. Ooh, hey, look, I'm wearing like a nice blazer, sports jacket. Oh, hey. Oh, good, good. You're still here. It seemed like you had something you wanted to say. Right, uh, do you think you could maybe. <clears throat> Let me start over. We are running an in type deal now and doing some cool theater stuff for our guests. I think you'd be the perfect. I think you'd be perfect for the role of the big bad wolf. You really think I'm suited for a role like that? Come on, don't make that face. You're the only wolf I know. Do you expect me to look for a bear or something instead? I I don't think it's a good idea to, to try to use someone because you think that they'll be scary. Why not? People love the tension, and shouldn't I aim for the best production possible? Besides, it's not that I personally think you're scary. It's just that, you know, everyone is afraid of wolves. I'm playing to that fear. I, I can't work for you. I already have a job. With what? Where? Since when? The hot springs. A few days ago. Ugh, then my star was already stolen away before the spotlight could even reach her. What's a poor moxie to do? It seemed like everyone had fun the way it was. Why do you have to change it? It's because I can't just settle for good. I have to be better. Hmm, if you can't do it, maybe I'll up the stakes by going the opposite direction in the food chain. It's the same problem. You'll just make foxes look worse. What do you care? Just think about it. Evil foxes versus the little bunny. Your girlfriend would be really cute in that role. We're not. It's it's not like that. Okay. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. You suddenly moved in together, and you're telling me nothing's going on there? We're just friends. And she wouldn't want to be in that kind of role either. Okay, bye then. Jeez. Why bother waiting out here if you didn't secretly want to help me out? <sighs> There's nothing wrong with trying to do what's expected of you. That's how I made it here. Whatever, this is fine. My cast can stay foxes only. The show must go on, after all. Six weeks, six weeks later. Dang. Oh, it's spring. Nice. Another wonderful day to be Moxie. Let's get out there and do our best. <coughs> it's oddly quiet. Sure, we haven't had guests in a while, but where the heck are my friends? Dang, yeah, everyone's gone. Maybe I missed something? Do you know where everyone went, Mom? Oh, a letter. Letter of resignation. Well, th that can't be right. Good one, guys. Let's see how far this joke goes. Moxie, this is a letter from all of us. The short story is, we quit. So, yeah. We're not actors. Well, Chai is, but we don't, we don't want to do the murder mystery thing anymore. We're, we were barely scraping by, and it's not going to get any better. It's just kind of a waste, really. 
We followed you out here in the first place to eat rabbits, and that turned out to be a bust. All we did was make them build a wall to keep us out, so that was lame. We gave you a chance for a pretty long time, considering the way we are, so you're welcome. See you back in Ginseng when you finally give up, <laughs> Pepper and the others. What? This is a little mean for a joke. A sorry for letting Pepper write hers first, figured it'd be a bummer. And it was, but you've got me to pick up the pieces. I'll begin by saying Madame Saltsworth wishes you her sincerest farewells. Well, you, you know how bad I am at the whole drama thing, but you always let me put in my own brand of humor anyways. You're pretty good at this theater stuff, Moxie. You ought to pursue that instead. Go be a big, big shot actress, or even a director. You probably don't want to come back to Ginseng, so sorry for not saying goodbye in person. I'll miss you, pal. You should come home, Chai. Those guys. No, they, they should have realized going home isn't an option for me. I just have to work even harder. Time to find a brand new cast. Then, when everyone hears about how great the Foxy Lodge is doing, they'll all come begging me for their old jobs back. Ha! Moxie is unbreakable. Moxie's not an unreliable quitter like her friends. No, of course not. This little setback ain't stopping me. Yep, I just need to find and hire and rehearse with two or three people who'd be willing to drop everything and work for little to no money. Or I could just put some kind of new spin on the Foxy Lodge. A one-man show? Bed and breakfast? No, I can't cook whatsoever. What I need is inspiration. I'll go enjoy the fresh mountain air. Man, I haven't had a day off in forever. This was a blessing in disguise. Oh no, even the weather is gloomy? Figures it'd be cloudy on my day off. I'm not letting it get me down though. Let's go get inspired. Dang, they've upgraded their like wall wall system. You walk by here often. Missed me, didn't ya? I get it, no one else hangs around here, so you're desperate for some company. You're making a lot of presumptions. How's the guard business treating you? Don't your legs get tired from standing in one place all day? Not at all, a job's a job. You're not working just any job, though. Everyone you turn away from this gate comes straight over to my place. Hearts and wallets open wide. So thanks for that. I'm sure all the little bunnies you're protecting are grateful to. You think this wall benefits both parties, then? No, I think it's stupid. But that doesn't mean I shouldn't take advantage of the situation, right? I understand. Whatever pays the bills. Hey, exactly. You really get me, mister. Oh, rain? Really? Guess I'll wait inside the hot springs till it cl clears up. Good morning. What awful weather, am I right? Oh, surprised to see me here? I know, I don't give myself many breaks. Can't really afford to, honestly. You have some nerve showing your face here, Miss Fox. Huh? What's, what's the problem? Do you mean to say, after all this time, you've never considered our feelings as expected of a backstabber like you? Backstabber? What are you accusing me of? You set up an inn to take advantage of the situation in Frosting when you knew perfectly well we were already here. Did you come to rub all the stolen business in our faces? Why else would you have avoided coming here for so long? You, you got it all wrong. I've just, I, I just, I've been busy. Busy disrespecting our struggling hot springs. Shame on you, Miss Fox. I'm telling you, that's not why I... Ugh, I can't even go somewhere nice to relax, can I? Tree, you'll set story straight, won't you? Tell them I'm innocent. What, what did you do? I didn't do anything. That's the whole point. Ugh, forget it. There's something more important for us to talk about. Um, Tree, my buddy, my pal. You're a true friend, aren't you? You're the kind who wouldn't abandon me overnight without any warning. Anyway, I've got some positions to fill. Do you remember what I asked you before? If I changed the story, do you think you would reconsider my offer? I'm still working here. You won't change your mind, not even to help a friend? 
Do they have you under some kind of harsh contract? Is that why? Trying to steal our employee now, too. How low will this fox sink? Everyone has problems, okay? Like, you even understand what I'm dealing with right now. <sighs> what I mean is, I don't have to stand here and be insulted like this. Goodbye. Hmm. Could we have been too aggressive with her? Poor thing. Them's the breaks, Annie. The business world is a ruthless one. What happened? We've seen a decline in guests in the past several weeks, assumed to be due to that Fox's mystery theater gimmick. She made quite a scene, but if she was trying to sabotage us, there's no reason to feel bad for her. It sounds like her friends left. It's, it's, it's raining really hard out there, so I came back inside. Miss Fox, please forgive our rudeness. Would you mind explaining your side of things? Depending on what you have to say, we'll provide you with an umbrella for your walk home. <sighs> hmm. It was nice of them to apologize and all, but I mean, come on, I didn't deserve that. They probably assume the worst just because I'm a fox. Rude. That's odd. Huh, what is? From what Mochi told me, and from what I've seen, you're the kind of person who likes those kind of expectations. Oh yeah, what else did she say about me? <laughs> that you're not very good at being bad. Huh, <sighs> yeah. I'm a failure, all right. Can't do anything as a fox. Couldn't eat a rabbit, couldn't run a hotel. I couldn't prove to my mom that I'm not a good-for-nothing daughter. <sighs> I don't know what to do now. Everyone said it was a waste of time. We barely made enough to get by, so I guess I kind of get it. They're allowed to give up, but me? I don't have a place to go back to anymore. It'd just be an embarrassment. It's like I'm, I'm finally being punished for setting up a place for scummy foxes like me to live it up snacking on rabbits all day long. Moxie. <laughs> it's, it's all pretty stupid, right? Like you, you think I'm an idiot too, don't you? I don't. Come on, I won't, I won't hurt my feelings. I've, I've heard it a million times from my mom. It isn't stupid to try your best. It stopped raining. Yeah. Come inside. Huh? N no, I better not. Mushi would enjoy the company. It's up to you, though. Mochi! You came. Hey, Mochi. Long time no see. Yeah, it's nice to see you again. Ooh, it smells good in here. Were you cooking something? I started baking as a hobby. Um, it'll be ready soon if you wanted to try some. <laughs> Sounds great. I haven't eaten all day. Oh, that's no good. Then you definitely have to stay for a while, at least until you're fed. Make yourself at home. Oh, they have two beds! Oh, they're roommates! Oh, I love it. So cute. Would you like to sit down with us? Yeah. Ooh. Whoa, I didn't know bread could taste so awesome. I feel like I've been missing out my entire life. It's just melon pan. Have you really never had it before? Yours is the first I've ever had, too. I never would have guessed. It's pretty popular where I grew up. Mochi, you, keep, you gotta keep introducing me to awesome foods like this. Oh no, are, are you crying? I'm just, I'm just really emotional. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. No, no, don't be sorry. I'm, I'm the one who ought to be apologizing. I mean, the last time you fed me, I, I kind of derailed your life, huh? That, that wasn't your fault. But it, but it was, if I hadn't followed you around, if me and my friends had never moved out here in the first place. It's, it's because of me that you couldn't continue your little happy bunny life in frosting, and, and now you're miserable. What? What are you talking about? I'm fine. Thanks a treat. I... No, no, no. It's, it's been bothering me this whole time. How you're the exact opposite of the way you used to be. This mopey mochi isn't the one I know. My mochi was nauseatingly cheery and worked way too hard to please everyone, and it was adorable. I'm, I'm not mopey. 
but she, she's right. Not you too, Tree. I'm, I really am happy here. Then come outside more. You've been holed up in here for way too long. That's not fair. I've been um, hibernating. Rabbit's not hibernating. <laughs> Don't no. laugh, Tree. I'm being bullied. I'd better head, head back now. Thanks again for the food. I'm glad you liked it. I had a lot of fun talking again. I'll walk you home. The water cleared up. Hmm. Yeah, it's nice. I guess we should get going then. You don't really have to walk me all the way home. You know, I, I won't get lost. I know, it's, it's not far and I don't mind. W worried about me? <laughs> Moxie is just fine. Oh, oops. By the way, you two seem like a happy couple. That's great. <sighs> what, you're not gonna get all defensive and say you're just friends this time? Oh, oh, you actually like her a lot, huh? You're shy. <laughs> what the heck, that's really cute. I am seriously jealous. What kind of wolf falls in love with an innocent little rabbit? Not that I want to talk. Don't say anything. I got it, I got it. <laughs> you can trust me. Well, here we are. We made it safely back to my place. Yeah. Hey, uh, thanks for having me over. My day would have been like really terrible otherwise. Anytime. Hey, treat. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> This is so cute! <laughs> Sigh. So, Foxy Lodge. It's about time we had a talk. I think we've outgrown each other. It's time for me to move on. Nope, I won't hear any objections. But Moxie, you can't. Where will you go? Who will shelter you from the elements? What will you tell Mom? I'll be okay, Foxy Lodge, and so will you, under new management, in someone else's loving hands. No, Moxie, you can't do this to us. There is no us. I'm going home to make things final. I'll never forget the past three and a half months. And don't think I'd forget about you either, Frosting. I'll be back to kick your stupid wall down. You'll see. 